Hey folks, welcome back. Today, for the very first time, we are playing Ixion. Um, and before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to all the folks who supported my stream, especially the folks that have subscribed and donated, because I bought this game entirely with uh, funds, proceeds from the stream donations. So thank you guys so much for buying me this game. Um, I think it's going to be super awesome, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I also just got a new stream deck. Uh, my girlfriend got it free on Facebook from somebody who uh, didn't want it anymore. Uh, so uh, that's super awesome, and I'm going to post a picture of that later. There's a couple new effects on the stream and stuff like that that I hope will be really awesome for you guys. Um, let me... Okay, alright, I think we're ready to go. AC European Spaceport, Norway, July 13th, 2049. Launch control, we have typing clearance for shuttle launch. Initiate Stanford protocol. All clear procedures, check. says an anime reference, I'm not sure about Nihei. I'd be curious to look that up. same craft and booster arrangement as the space shuttle. near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and we'd like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden, okay. the personal assistant installed on board the Tycoon. In accordance with the Munchie protocol, 
I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. My primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's automated systems function efficiently. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research, mining operations, manufacturing protocols, and Dolo's colonization tests. Why did I get this? Okay, tutorial. Next down features three different player views, the interior view, the exterior view, and the planetary system map. You can switch between views via the navigation panel located in the bottom right corner. Okay, so F1 is the interior, where most action occurs. F2 is for structural improvements to the T Tikkun. I guess Tikkun is the name of the station, so I don't know what Ixion is then. And then F3 is the planetary system. One, two, two of three. Okay, so it's right click to pan or WASD. Scroll to zoom. Q and E to rotate. Okay, so we're moving, moving the camera with my left hand. Store the viewer to its initial position by pressing the home key. Good to know. Exterior, kind of the same thing. And it's already kind of the same thing. to absorb it once. I hope I can come back to this menu after uh, after we've messed around for a minute. Buildings are the core elements of the station help you fulfill the crew's needs. They also transform, store, and transport the resources required for maintaining the Tycoon station. Buildings have to be constructed. Constructing a building res requires resources. All buildings cost a varying amount of alloy, which is this little double steel plates icon here. Some can also cost some electronics. Buildings require a certain amount of power to be active. You can activate and deactivate buildings to alter the current level of power consumption. The amount of power, power available within the Tycoon station can be increased. Activating a building increases the required number of workers within a sector. Having enough workers to operate all active buildings is essential to maintaining station safety. You can activate and deactivate buildings to alter how many workers are needed. Okay. Um... Internal construction menu. Okay, so C to construct. Buildings can be placed as long as they do not overlap another building or road. Can be rotated with the R key. Buildings must be connected to a road. This is made possible by having at least one of their access points overlapping a road tile. Okay. They can be dismantled by clicking the corresponding icon accessible from the interior construction menu. That's the C menu. Dismantling a building will refund its alloy and electronics. Okay, so we get a full refund. That's good. When your building has been placed, the construction process begins. Stockpiles will send resource transporters to deliver the correct amount of alloy and electronics to the construction site. Then any active workshop will send a mech to assemble the building. The bigger the building, the longer it will take to assemble. Each workshop can only construct one building at a time. Okay. And then roads. So we need a workshop and a transport and a transporter to construct things. Road network. Uh, is main way to transport goods from one location to another. Roads cost no resources and take little time to build. It can be built and destroyed by clicking the corresponding icons accessible from the interior construction menu. There's no hotkey for roads. Okay. Uh, workshops need to be linked to construction sites for the worker max to be able to reach them. Stockpiles need to be connected by road to an intended site for transporters to be able to remove and drop off resources. Okay, so everything has to be linked by roads, basically. Sectors, even though you only have one sector available at the beginning, the Tycoon Station is divided into six different sectors. Sectors contain the constructible areas of the station. Each sector is independent and separated by a gateway. Sectors can be accessed by panning the camera left or right, or by directly clicking on the minimap located in the bottom left corner. Each sector has a constructible area of 1680 tiles, 56 by 30 tiles. Resource bar at the bottom of the screen shows resource amounts on the Tycoon. Top numbers are total resources in all sectors, and the bottom numbers are the current sector's resources. I think this station name is also a throwback to like Roller Coaster Tycoon and those type of games, by the way. Uh, there's a button to the left of the bar that toggles stockpile resource display. 
um, top or total, bottom numbers are the current sector's resources. Okay. Um, sector view, so this is like our status indicator. Crew members, workers or non-workers, how many there are. Require quarters to live in and access to food. Stability, work condition status, power consumption, and available water. Because water is either just available or not. Uh, can be created by transforming ice in a fusion station where it is also stored. Water cannot be moved between sectors. Oh, interesting. You can gain access to new sectors by manually overriding their lock algorithms. This process comes at a one-time cost in electronics. You also need to have the specified amount of food and alloy delivered to the gateway to support the sector's ongoing needs, as well as ensure you have enough workers available for the sector's primary operations. Unlocking new sectors increases the structural demands on the Tycoon, raising its overall fragility and thus resulting in a higher hull depletion rate. Oh god. Okay. Minimap of the Tycoon is located in the bottom left corner of the screen next to the sector information panel. So the, the sector unlock is almost like a doomsday clock. We have to, you know, the faster, the more stuff we have, the faster the clock counts down. Minimap of the Tycoon is located in the bottom left corner of the screen next to the sector information panel. You can access each sector quickly by clicking on the sector number on the map. I wonder if I can use like the one through six keys to switch sectors. Battery charge is displayed in the inner section of the map. Oh, that's this, uh, these little green bars, I guess. And sector's battery bar is full of batteries are said to be completely charged. A lot of time can be sped up and stopped, thank God. Controls can be found at the bottom right of the screen. Time can be stopped using space and set to certain speeds using... What is Alpha 1? I don't know, we'll figure that out later. Okay, we've got all this. Let's pause the game. Can we do... I guess we have to let time roll forward in order to do the transmissions. Yeah. Administrator, I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks personally. I'm Dolos' cryonics lead, Marduk council member Giovanni Batista. John. Chips while he's on the boat with Your me. first objective will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Tycoon, meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, you will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada yada yada. And then, you'll come back. Now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of resources, construction, Balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon following the first test of its Vol engine. Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, and Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Itself. Veneer has insisted to center Dolos's focus like on the Tycoon. But this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? Okay, uh, I'm gonna just check the audio settings real quick. Doesn't have anything about the echo in there. Um, I mean, the music sounds fine. It's just a voice, so I'm pretty sure it's a game sound effect. One last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolo. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. 
Okay then. Okay, here we go. Here's the actual instructions. I was confused because I thought this transmission was going to walk me through the tutorial, but he just left and didn't really tell me what to do. It was like, uh... <laughs> okay, so you're building a workshop. It's 4x4. Four four. It's free. It takes two power and four workers. Let's look at our setup here. So we have 85 population, 85 workers, zero non-workers, zero colonists, nine food per meal, zero in space. We have optimal working conditions currently, uh, power consumption 14. How much power are we generating? 23% of the power available to the station. Oh, 46 available. There it is. Okay. Um, using too much power in the station will result in a power overload. Ooh, okay. Um, we don't have any batteries, it looks like, right now. So everybody's happy and everything's hunky-dory. Surely that'll be the way it is going forward. Okay. I think... I think carefully about where to put this. I think I want to put it... Here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we built a workshop. Connect the workshop with a road. That we we already connected it, but I guess not. There we go. Okay, we just had to build another. All right, and then build a stockpile. Okay, where do we want our stockpile? This should probably be sort of centrally located, I think. Maybe. Let's say it's here. Oh, we can rotate the building, right? There we go. Put it on the road. Hopefully this is a good place, but I'm not completely, completely sure about that. Let's set the stockpile to store alloy. I don't do that. They didn't tell me that. Uh, tutorial resources. Let's see. Oh, so this is all just the beginning. Okay. Resources. Some resources are raw. Must be industrially transformed or there to be utilized. Iron, which is the atomic symbol for iron, Fe, can be converted into alloy, which is steel plates. Carbon can be converted into polymer. Okay. So seeing some space haven similarities here. I mean, I guess this is just physics, right? Carbon. Plastics made of carbon. Steel plates are made of iron. Um, silicon is converted into electronics. Hydrogen is converted into power. Okay. Ice can be converted into water. Waste can be recycled into other resources. Um, alloys used for buildings and tycoon maintenance. Polymer is used for spaceships and solar panels. Electronics is for advanced construction. Food is feeding. Uh, trionic pods are used to gain crew members. Okay and science points are used for research. The resource HUD allows you to see the location quantities of your resources overlaid across the station's buildings. You can bring up the overlay by either holding the Alt key or clicking on the button to the left of the resource bar. Um, okay, I'll have to try that out. So Alt key to overlay. Resources need to be stored in stockpiles. Stockpiles can only store one type of resource at a time and have an upgrade ma upgradable maximum capacity. Stockpile cannot interact directly with another sector. You need to transfer resources from one sector to another via the resource management panel. Like a resource in order to select which resource the stockpile should store. Supply lines allow you to see which buildings are dependent on a selected stockpile. Okay. Supplies have been left by Dolos to finish station facility construction. Click on the flashing diamond-shaped icon above a supply to collect its resources. Ensure the supply is connected by road to an active stockpile. In order to harvest supplies, the stockpile has to have a resource assigned to it. Um, okay, so this diamond icon is resources that are waiting for us to unpack, basically. Resource transport transporters will transfer supplies to the stockpile until the source is depleted. Each stockpile has a number of dedicated transporter vehicles starting at 5. Transporters move resources from stockpiles to locations requiring resources. Intersector transporters white cannot go to other sectors. Intersector transporters yellow will only attend to resource transfer between sectors. Okay. So 
parts of five, but you can get more, I guess. We already did time control. Okay. So what does that want us to do now? We gotta select a resource. Uh, alloy. This guy. Okay, click on the alloy icon kind of above the supply to collect the resources, I guess. But oh, this is a resource supply, okay. How much could this stuff I hold? Source up to 100 units, okay. I guess let's do the little stuff first. Let's collect 40. I think these buildings are going to be cleared out once we collect this. So we'll do the small buildings first to make a, make more space available. Okay, this only gave us 35. None of these... I think these are also alloy. Now we need to connect this. the tile there apparently. So we'll wait for that wait a minute for this road to be constructed. Here's our mech constructing the road. Oh. Did not mean to do that. I zoomed out a little too far there. There's some more ally. Okay, and here's the transporters. Cool. Administrator, I have established a connection with Dolus's lead data scientist, Emma Flame. Okay. Administrator, Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the Tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein, Dolos's lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department have just completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool, the DLS. The DLS, or data listening system, is capable of scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate potential future outcomes. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden will then take care of everything via their DLS accreditation. As is often the case with tools produced by my department, I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Munshi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of vol jumping. Whilst there is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia, he believes <laughs> that a vol jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. Okay, so what I took from... A new request awaits your attention. Communal dining. Okay, so what I took from all that was, before we do the vol jump, whatever that is, we need to... Um, we need to build an infirmary, at least one. Requests. Tycoon's crew will communicate with you via the data listening system events. A number of options will be presented, allowing you to choose how to respond to crew requests. The magnifying glass icon represents a DLS event. These can be exploration events on the planetary system map or crew requests from inside the Tycoon. 
Tycoon, your actions in response to crew requests may have a positive or negative effect on trust. Be mindful that trying to offer the best outcomes for the population could cause poor damage should you fail to deliver on your promises. Refusing crew requests inside the station will have no immediate consequence and is a wiser decision than committing yourself to an unachievable or impractical course of action. Okay, that's cool. Um, so where's the... okay. Administrator, Tycoon crew members are currently unable to access food supplies. Nyakon protocols direct the construction of a mess hall. This building is designed to distribute food from our stockpiles to the crew. Guaranteeing access to food supplies would reaffirm your competency as an administrator. What other... I guess... This is a non-optional quest. Okay. It's just teaching us how to use the event system, I guess. Uh, place down a mess hall construction site. I guess this would be food, mess hall. Source food for up to 500 crew members every five cycles. Cost is 40, which is why they had us put 40. Um, I guess this is like where the crew hangs out, so it could be kind of centrally located, maybe. And then we need a road to go to it, right? So if we drop below 40 resources here, we'll start grabbing another one of these stockpiles. And we can start doing that now. Here comes the construction. Get it at a speed of time if I can figure out how to do that. Let's not go too crazy here. I'm still learning how to play the game. Okay, we built the mess hall. We need a second stockpile now, it tells us. Stockpile small. I think this is as good a place as any. I think having them centrally located is going to be good. Should build quickly. Yep. Oh, they were just transporting the resources now, and I should actually build. Okay, this is gonna now store food. Uh, click on the food icon above the supply to collect its resources. I think it's this. Okay, so this is going to be all of our food for now, I guess. Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council Member Henry Bargeville. Okay. Boru, Administrator. What a wonderful day to embrace our fate, don't you think? I am Henri Barjaville, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Marduk Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Ushanabi, a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangais. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashtangites are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Ushanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial testing. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. 
Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. What on earth is that? Trust in genetic connectors? Self-similar space will reveal the... Please assign a cargo ship so we can check trade routes. Okay, so we're feeding 100 crew members. That's just going to happen, I think, over time. Um, construct a cargo ship in the docking bay. Oh, let's look at this. Uh, food, people need food to survive. Uh, in order to feed your population, you need to have mess halls in your sector. They do not create food, but they serve it a set amount of crew to a set amount of crew every five cycles. Stockpiles will transfer food to a mess hall to be served to the crew. Food has to be stored in stockpiles like all other resources. Cool. Um, space interactions. Science ships allow you to interact with events on the planetary system map. Clicking on points of interest on the map will dispatch a ship to that location. Once it has arrived, clicking the event icon will allow you to... Okay, so we're gonna go to planetary system map, which is F3. Click on the point of interest, which is the little magnifier. Once it's arrived, clicking the event icon will allow you to instruct the ship's team on how to proceed. Science ships can be built from the docking bay. Science ships collect science points through events allowing you to advance in the technology tree. Losing a ship team member will make the resolution of events slower and starting new events impossible. In such cases, science ships must be sent back to the Tycoon to replenish, replenish their crew. Ooh, okay. Okay, um, so pausing this, going to the docking bay, or going to the planetary system map. Base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and can be used to restore power. Okay, let's take a look around the system here. So we are currently on Tycoon, which is an Earth orbit. We have to construct it first. Doesn't really tell me where to find the docking bay. So I guess this game is going to go in levels. This is like the first level. Um, is each solar system? I think the whole engine is going to be how we advance to the next level. Cargo ship in the docking bay. This is the docking bay. That's the docking bay. Here we go. Building not connected to an active stockpile or... Okay, I just need to build one more road unit for that. Or actually three more road units, sorry. Attempted to connect this directly to make it a little bit faster, but I think it's fine. We're not under a lot of time pressure really right now. We'll to, we might have to rejigger some of the stuff later, I think. Is our mech building the road? Okay. That's got an alloy number which is counting down. Not sure why that is. Uh, okay, so we need a cargo ship and a science ship. Watch them hanging out in the um, mess hall there. So they got their selection of plants out front, and then this is like the lounge area in the back, and there's a guy out there sweeping. That's kind of cool. And then can we try to see if we can rotate the camera to the side to see in there, but it doesn't look like it. There's a couple of people hanging out in the entrance, so. Okay. Um. Now, I think we wait. Looks like we got all the food. Is that alloy? I think that's alloy, yeah. Oh, it's like an I-beam. I thought it was like two plates on top of each other. The... Oh, it actually unloaded. When we connected up to the docking bay, it actually unloaded alloy. Be working on this uh, docking bay here.
I don't see any progress going on with the ship construction, which concerns me a little bit. Um, what is the gear here? Polymer. Okay. I would never guess that that icon meant polymer, but that's okay. Um, I'm thinking, I wonder if I want to construct an extra thing since this is full and we're not able to clear the docking bay. Yeah, the 20, this needs polymer. Okay, so we do actually have to... Alright, we're figuring it out here. It's a process, guys. Okay, so where's the polymer? Polymers, we got 10 polymer. We got 50 polymer over here. So why don't we go for the 50 polymer first? Hmm... Stick the polymer over by the spaceport since that seems to be where it's needed. I definitely want to redo this road segment. I think that's silly. Um, okay, so then. No deletion tool, there we go. Let's wait till that road gets built and then we'll delete the earlier road. good. Uh, I mean, maybe I can probably leave that for now. Maybe that'll, maybe it'll be helpful for them. I'm not really sure. Right, 85 out of 100 crew members fed. What's our food total? Uh, I'm going to wait to collect that until we get this online. Got another event here. Food total is 42. There it is. Administrator, some crew members are lacking quarters during human history. Unnecessary homelessness has always been an indicator of civilizational decay. Do not reproduce humanity's basic mistakes aboard the tycoon. Ensure all crew are quarter within 12 cycles, or there are more pressing resource needs. I think we can do it. Let's try. I don't know how many, I guess it's 84 crew members. Okay, we got 12 days to do that. Population. There's another infirmary, okay. How many, how many crew does this provide for? 15 crew members. So we have to construct uh, four five, six of these guys. I think we can do it. Let's try. Um, kind of want these to be centrally located. I think that's good. We'll see how fast, how fast 12 cycles goes by, I'm not surely. We're only at 11.9. But these things are pretty efficient, I think. Uh, we're gonna need to grab more alloy. start this collecting. Did we get the polymer collected? We didn't. Let's get this built first, I think, and then let's do the polymer. This is on a timer, whereas this is not. 
far as I can tell. I think we're well under our time total here. The 15 more. I think we can afford to start this now. Oh, they have dedicated, they have different uh, sets of transporters for each stockpile, I forgot. So actually it doesn't cost us anything to start doing this while this is also going. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, this guy. Oh, here comes the ship. Nice. All right, we're starting our ship construction. Very cool. See it slowly being printed or whatever it is that they're doing here. Population. Uh, crew of the tycoon represented by this icon. Living conditions of the crew directly impact stability. The more people that there are on the station, the more hope your crew will have for the future. However, growing numbers will scale up resource needs. Make sure to always be a step ahead. T tycoon crew is split into two different types, workers and non-workers. The latter do not have sufficient skills to operate the station facilities. People need food to survive. The crew will eat at set intervals with meal cycles occurring every five cycles. If they are not provided with food at this time, they will begin to starve. After missing three meals, the starvation, starving population will progressively die. Crew member will recover from starvation after eating a meal. Okay. Um, rather than waiting for the next meal cycle, starving crew members can instead eat at the start of the next cycle in which enough food is available. This behavior can be toggled on or off uh, for a sector from within the mess hall's building panel. So, okay, so we can save people from starvation if they're about to die if, as soon as food becomes available. Um, primary cause of instability in the station is homelessness. Make sure that crew members have quarters to live in. We just took care of that. So that's going to be good for us. Uh, people are still happy. Conditions are still optimal. We have lots of available workers that are not doing anything right now. Let's figure out how to fix that. We got quarters for three quarters of our crew so far. That's pretty good. Thank you. Fast forward a little, hit, little bit here until either this gets done or that gets done. Looks like this is going to get finished just slightly earlier. Okay, harvesting tutorial. Space interactions. In order to retrieve resources for the Tycoon, you will need a fleet. Your fleet is composed of cargo ships that transfer resources and mining ships that extract resources. Your fleet is semi-automated and needs orders to function. Cargo and mining ships also have a limited period of autonomy in which they can operate in space. After 10 cycles, they will return to Tycoon for maintenance. If a ship is mid-task, it will complete it before returning. You can assign a mining ship to extract any number of specific resources by left-clicking on the relevant box. Uh, clicking multiple times will cycle through the priority levels assigned to the resources extraction. Okay. As with mining ships, cargo ships can be assigned to retrieve any number of resources with varying priority levels. Cargo ships and mining ships can be pulled from the docking bay. They can be unassigned or destroyed by clicking the corresponding icons below the ship in the docking bay's menu. You can manage your mining and cargo ships on the fleet management page, which is accessible via the button on the bottom of the menu. Okay, this is our fleet management. What am I doing with this now? Start to science ship. Order the cargo ship to retrieve food via the fleet management window. Okay. This is high priority. I guess high priority is fine since we have no other resource retrieval priorities. Um, can we see the ship flying? Yes. Oh, cool. Check this out. Okay, so it's going to Urshinavi and collecting food, more food for us. That's neat. 
That was a pretty quick trip, I guess. So is the ship back in... I'm waiting for a science ship for that. Probably gonna find resources on these places once we explore them with a science ship. And if we manage to overcome whatever danger is there. I think. 19. No active health buildings in sector. Sector. We have no injured crew members. Injured crew members will die after a few cycles if they're not hospitalized. Let's see if we can build an, an infirmary. It's 40 steel. I think we can manage that. wrong. I built four of these. That's 60. Oh, I did math wrong. Okay. Um, try to create a situation where I can extend the area with roads and I won't, if things won't get jammed up. Took a time to fix it. Oh, that's the infirmary they're building. Um, let's get a road back here so we can get this little stockpile. We should be able to finish these two, no problem, and everybody will be happy. How do we go from 85 down to 79? There's one person in space. I feel like four people just disappeared for no apparent reason. Didn't give me a notice like people are dying or anything. more space for construction here. I'll set these constructions to high priority. In case I queue other stuff and forget about them. how many people are homeless. 60 homes for 80 people. 80, I did say 85 there. Right. Oh, 79 of them are workers. Six of them are non-workers, I guess. There's six of them in space now. Okay, I'm not sure why that happens that they go to space. Maybe it's because they're working on the ship. Let's go resolve the moon event on the planetary system map. I think they must have crewed the science ship or something. Here comes the Erlenmeyer. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Summary of intelligence on the abandoned base. The base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and could be used to restore power. Transmission from the Erlenmeyer's team. We have reached the UN base. It is abandoned and depressurized. The surveillance system is still operational, awaiting orders. We can either exploit the security vulnerability or dismantle the base. Hmm.
I'm going to try this because if we can get hacking into the surveillance system and Erlen Meyer's team will access the base's central systems to retrieve any confidential data or we'll dismantle the base and prepare useful resources. I'm kind of curious about the confidential data. Doesn't look like we can do both, I guess. Oh, they're working on it now. Okay. Um, did we... Oh, we finished the population build. Nice. I think we're just about out of plastic, so we'll pick up some more plastic. Okay on food right now. We're okay on alloy. I'm not sure what to build next. I guess we'll uh, do the moon, wait for the moon mission resolution before deciding what to do. We kind of burned through notifications. It's arrived at the moon, yeah, we know that. Okay. Ship team has completed a task. We hacked into the main computer systems as the order to retrieve several relevant research papers and data sets. We are ready for the extraction of 10 science. Okay, cool. Um, now we can dismantle the base, I guess. Science will be collected after event completion. Okay. Okay, so we're just chilling. All this stuff is just happening while we're waiting for the moon mission. Which takes three cycles, apparently. Let's look at the construction menu and see if there's other useful stuff we can build. Tech lab. Use the science to research and unlock new buildings and build upgrades. I think that's going to be our next build. We already have a docking bay. I probably don't want to construct a mining ship yet, I think. Okay, we need to make space here. I'm thinking this has got to go. Or... Now we rearrange things. We can dismantle stuff and refund its cost, right? I think we can move this road and then we'll be okay to put it up there. I remember mentioning in one of the reviews that uh, building space was actually one of the most precious resources in the game. Uh, this isn't quite in a good spot. Let's leave this until after the moon mission in case somebody gets injured on the mission. Oh, look at this, there's rockets on the side. That's cool. Just about done here. Science ship team has completed a task. Base is dismantled, so now we got 30 alloy and 90 science. Wow. Well, the most equipment was damaged, we were able to prepare some usable resources for extraction. Ship is collecting science. Technology and upgrades. Having a tech lab provides access to the technology tree. Very good. That's what I figured. Um, generates science points passively, but the main way to earn science points is through space exploration. Researching new technology requires science and time, so make sure to spend your science points wisely. Unlocking science ship upgrades may provide unique options during exploration events. Okay, that's cool. Um, most technologies can be upgraded. The circles above a technology on the tech tree show how many upgrades are currently available. I like the idea of having unique science exploration options because that could potentially unlock more resources for us over time. So, they're currently collecting the science. 
Uh, now we get to build. Nobody got injured, so we can go ahead and dismantle this and remove it. How do I do that? It's fun. Maybe let's build a new one first. This is okay. I feel like my food supply is kind of acting like a time limit here, but it's going pretty slowly. Eight units of food are consumed per meal. Current average production covers 0% of meal requirements. We gotta figure out how to produce food. That's gonna be critical, I think. But probably, I think before that, we have to produce more research. Okay, we got that, so now we can dismantle this. Which will enable us to move this road and then build our tech lab up there. Make sure that goes through, I think it already did, but it's hard to tell from this view. Oh, you can rotate it around. Okay. Can't see inside the mess hall, though. Not really, anyway. Okay, so we got rid of that. people will not die or something. I, don't, I think they didn't die. Okay, now let's work on building our tech lab. Tech lab, there we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. It's kind of instant messages. Let me just real quick make sure that nothing crazy is going on. We have a meeting for Monday. Okay, looking into this issue. Okay, nothing I have to do right away. this? I don't think I can reach that right now. Let's reach that so we can empty that out. Could have already reached that, never mind. What's our main mission doing? Still harvesting. That's 30 science first. Oh, we're at 100 science already. Nice. Okay, so since we're, since we're done building this, we can research, I think. I thought the ship would have to fly back to return to science, but I guess we're in radio contact with it, so makes sense. I'm assuming it's going to have to at least fly back to return the alloy. Maybe we have to send the cargo ship to get the alloy? I'll put the alloy as a low priority because we don't really have a shortage of alloy. But we might as well start gathering it. Oh, that was that the science ship that just got back? No, there's a cargo ship that just got back. Cool. It's unloading its uh, cargo now. I guess it's shipping 20 alloy at a time. And that's getting automatically put into the stockpile. Nice.
So in the future, when I go to build the next sector, I'll probably want to put these things close to the gate and or close to the spaceport. Close to the docking bay, rather. Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Dolus's head of medicine, Dr. Abhinav Munchi. Okay. Greetings, Administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi, Dolo's expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Marduk Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you're equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. Okay, danger. New objective, construct the Vol engine. We have to unlock that via the technology tree. I'm a little concerned that we managed to get this far into space without uh, knowing how to build an EVA airlock. That seems like something we should be worried about. Okay, produces technology tree. Um, pairs up to 48 units of hull per cycle for four units of alloy can construct exterior structures. That seems like a good thing. So that's going to unlock the next phase here. Um, can we... Oh, 1%, okay. I think after we do all the required research for this section, we're going to see about doing some of the optional stuff. Um, we're still harvesting almost a Tiberium. I think we already collected all the alloy that was here. Was the Erlen Meyer still doing anything here, or can we? I think I'm going to send it to Mars. Maybe I want to send it back and upgrade it first. I don't know. Let's send it back to the station for now. This game starts off somewhat slow, but I think it's going to get a lot faster very quickly at this pat when we get past a certain point. access to some of these other resources while we're waiting for other stuff to happen here. Conscious of, we've got all the polymer that's available on the board here, so we've got to be a little careful how we spend that. Building an EVA airlock. Let's see what this. Um, we got that. EVA airlock technology has been unlocked. Let's build the airlock first and then see what it wants us to do before we make a decision about what to do next, with research wise. Although, I don't know, I kind of want to do one of the shuttle upgrades. Space. EVA airlock repairs. Oh my god, it's huge. 
Okay, can we get this alloy out of the way? Probably has to be built put up against there too. Yeah, it does. We should have built this over there. We can only have one of them. Okay. But we got that. Okay. Um. Not can't build it on top of the sector one sign, I guess. So I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna regret this later. Let's um. No, you know what? I'm gonna build it all the way to the end so that we make sure that we optimize the space. Cutting across here. Here we go. Okay, what are we researching while we're waiting? Uh, science ship upgrades. Science ships move faster. We don't care about that yet, I don't think. Post lunaclism. Science ship. Technology tier 3 is required to unlock this. Okay, we can't do any of this yet. Oh well. Okay, so what can we do? Increases the production rate of science. I don't know how do we unlock tier three. Do we have to research everything on tier two first? I think so. Let's start researching farming. I think we're gonna need that at some point. I think that's a pretty safe uh, expenditure. seem too hard but we're still kind of in the tutorial phase so expect it to change. We're down to 14 food units. I'm not super happy about that. Okay so it's a good thing we started the farming research. That's going pretty quick actually. I just don't know how many... I'm not sure how to get the electronics. We also have to figure out mining at some point. We can get a mine, um... Very good. Okay, let's build an insect farm. Raises insects, converting them into one food after one cycle. Okay, these are kind of bulky. I don't want to build them up there because that's like our airlock wall. I think this is an okay place for that. I'd like to get rid of this first if we could, but we can't. I'm going to build more stockpiles anyway. Okay, we'll start over here. Shoot. Um, I need to face it the other way because... I thought it was going to let me... 
put a road there, but I can't because there's a... There we go. Yeah, let's do... Actually... Let's do, like, this. I did this one backwards, too. How much water do we have, by the way? We have no ice. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to actually do this farming. But I think it'll be good to have these things available to us. We'll see if it's a mistake. Uh, oh, we can actually clear these out now. Let's get this big one in the middle. Maybe we'll be able to clear another one after that, too. So do we need to build a mining ship? How many polymers? We got 55 polymers. Let's build a mining ship. Because I think we're going to need ice in order to make these farms work, probably. Go down. An increase or decrease in population? I don't know. Start taking this as well. It's kind of an efficient pathing, but I think it's okay. I don't think that. Our transporter pathing is really that critical at this point in the game. Oh. Well, shit. Okay, how do I turn the farm off? Due to insufficient levels of electricity generation, One's power demand has overloaded. Uh, what are we not using right now? We don't need the lab. Standard Here we go. External construction. With an active EVA airlock, the Tycoon's crew is able to manage the station's exterior, repair the hull, and build contraptions such as solar panels. Okay, good timing. Uh, to manage the exterior of the station, click on the Tycoon icon in the action panel. Multiple EVA airlocks will speed up exterior activities. Workplace safety. Most buildings need workers in order to function. However, a sector doesn't have enough workers. Its inhabitants' working conditions will deteriorate in order to keep the facilities running correctly. Working conditions are based on the total workers needed to enact the buildings to run the sector and the number of fit workers present in the sector. Injured or starving, crew are not able to work. We don't have enough workers in a sector. Working conditions for present workers will start to deteriorate. There are four levels of working conditions. Optimal, extra hours, overwork, and danger. Okay. Uh, the worse the working conditions are in the sector, the less safe workplaces will be. This will lead to more frequent accidents. Uh, they cannot be totally avoided. They're very rare and optimal working conditions and can only take the form of breakdowns. Working conditions can be checked in the sector view at the bottom left corner of the screen. To improve working conditions... Okay, so we've got to hover over the little hard hat. To improve working conditions, either turn off some buildings or increase the affected sector's population of workers by awakening cryopods or transferring crew from other sectors. We don't know how to do that yet. 
Sector becomes specialized in a discipline when it has a certain amount of buildings of the same type. Specializations give you bonuses that support the associated sector. Um, okay. See a building's type by clicking on the building. Once unlocked a sector, specializations can be viewed in the data listing system policies window. I don't know where to find the data listing system policies window. This game has got a lot of information going. Let's, uh, we got an event going. Reports are being received related relating to Barjaville plane optimization protocols on board the Tycoon. You indicate that crew members are being overworked, although Dolos employment contracts make it clear that a high degree of flexibility is required. The situation is beginning to take its toll on morale. It would be pragmatic to deploy additional crew members or reduce the number of concurrently active workplaces. Um, we're not gonna do that right now because um, we have limited food supply. And that you construct an external solar panel to boost overall electrical output. Okay, external solar panels. We're okay on hull repairs. Did one of them get built? Construction in progress, it says. Okay. Oh, so they're like layers of solar panels. Okay. So I think it's going to construct them all around the station. When you run out of power, either by losing output or powering on a building when you don't have enough power available, a power overload occurs. If you do not have any batteries present, overloads lead directly to blackouts. Batteries can be researched in the technology tree. You can click on the power indicator in the top bar to switch to the power grid view. At first, the Tycoon will lack the backup systems that allow buildings to withstand power overloads, and accidents may happen as a result. Overloads will also provoke a 5% trust drop. Oops. Batteries provide power for the respective sectors whilst an overload is in effect. If the overload has not been resolved before a sector's battery power runs out, a blackout will then occur. Blackouts will impact the crew's trust in you. Okay. Blackout is when sort of power runs out. Um, these occur automatically if no batteries are present. Batteries can be re researched in the technology tree. If the blackout occurred when moving the station, power will turn back on automatically. If blackout occurred during an overload, power will automatically turn back on when the overall power demand falls below the Tycoon's maximum power capacity. Okay, so that's building. Let's see what our ships are doing here. I think we need to... Is there any value in sending science things to those? I don't think so. Let's go to Mars. I think that's our next logical destination here. Um, still worrying about our food supply. I'm just implementing the Vol engine via the build panel in the external view. We'll worry about that in a bit. Let's wait till our new solar panels come online. Fleet management. Oh, we could start mining. Um, we need ice. Followed by silicon. Production basics. Food can be produced by this, in the station by food producing buildings, ensuring your survival even without external food sources. Buildings such as the insect farm periodically generate food as long as they are powered on. Insect farms will not operate when full and need to be emptied. Make sure you have stockpiles available in the sector. Okay, so let's try powering this on. See if we can afford that, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're starting one of our insect farms, and we already have a food stockpile. That's good. And I'm going to rearrange this road so that we can get a third insect farm going pretty soon here. We're still in optimal working conditions. Good. Ninety percent solar panel construction. Let's go ahead and. 
Okay, so this is... we need to move the road over by one. Oh, this can also be powered on. Yes, oh, we got the solar panels online, nice. Is the mining ship doing anything? I can't tell. Okay, so we already got the resources. Those are like the low-hanging fruit resources. Here we go. And another insect farm. Perfect. These only cost metal, and they don't seem to be using up any... don't seem to be requiring any ice, so I think we're okay there. Okay, we just got another unit of food that's starting to make me feel a little better. I think we still need more farms. Um, 66 workers required. Yeah, let's do another farm. turn one of them off. Oh, keep in mind though, we also have to provide workers for our science. This takes 30 workers, so we're going to want to make sure there's nobody working. We're not building anything here right now. I think we could start doing the Vohol engine, but I think I want to do some research first. I'm going to power this off. Three workers do we have? 57. 70. Okay, we're gonna be 10 workers short if we do this. What can we turn off? Maybe the infirmary. Take the infirmary off, fine. Science ship has arrived at Mars. What do we got here? Okay, the UN has established a facility on Mars. Its crew are currently lacking the materials required to repair a critical fault in their oxygen supply system. They've submitted an official request to Dolos for aid. We can repair the fault in exchange for resources. We can repair the fault in exchange for research data, or we can refuse to help the facility. Um, oh, it's giving us... This is what it costs us, I think. I don't want real research data. It says we don't have ten aluminum now. This could be a mistake if I take this because I'm spending ten of my polymer, and I've already spent some on the. Um, I already spent some on the mining ship. But let's be ambitious. And try to do it. He's actually bringing... No, he's loading polymer into the bay to be taken over there. Okay. Um, where else can we clear out? Let's clear out this. That's what we're working. Now we can go into suboptimal working conditions. So is the science ship staying there, or...? I guess we could do both of these, maybe. Probably should have done the resources first if we were going to do both. I'm feeling we're not producing enough food. 
you gain food per cycle, if I'm reading this correctly. Reducing four per cycle, so we're gonna, we're gonna starve in another two cycles. There's our transport ship, okay. Yeah, we should have gotten the resources first because they probably would have given us some food. Yeah, see, so the infirmary shut down, that's shut down. The EVA airlock is shut down. The 10 people that are not working currently, that could be. How do we get more people? Now I regret not getting more people, but I think it was what we had to do at the time. In sector zero, in station zero. There's nothing else we can shut down. I was really hoping we'd find food on Mars, but we didn't go for that option, so... Is our miner doing anything? We're actually standing by. I guess we have to explore these places before we can get any resources from them, probably. Let's build up, let's spend the rest of our capacity on farms for now. We can always turn them off if we need the capacity for something else, which I think we might later. I'm going to move these apartment buildings over here. Crew quarters, excuse me. A science ship team has completed a task. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, they've given us 10. We improved our relation with Mars, I guess. Oh, we don't get the option, I guess, to... Okay, it's collecting the science. We're gonna go to Jupiter since it's nearby, I think. Or Mercury. Do we go to, let's go to Mercury because it's more centrally located. I guess these things are kind of automated, the mining ship. I can't really. I don't remember what the hydrogen was for. Uh, should we start working on the Vohol engine? Oh, we gotta check out Saturn. Let's see what happens if we go to Mercury. I don't know if it's gonna give us anything or not. If not, then we'll go to Saturn next. Um, I really want to turn this on, but we don't have... We can't spare 30 workers. I mean, we could just overwork, right? I think that's what we have to do. 
Warning. A sector is being overworked. That's too much overwork though. How can we mitigate it? We can turn this off, maybe? What will happen to the ships if I turn this off? I think it's just not going to produce new ships. Hopefully. Extra hours. I'm okay with extra hours. Okay, let's start some technology. Do I actually need this building on in order to get technology? Let's see. I don't. Okay. There's no active tech lab. All research is paused. But let's... No, we do have to research it, I think. Travel across planetary systems. We got all the tier 1 technologies. I guess we're going for the probe launcher then. Oh, this lets us explore for resources. That's cool. Extra hours. We'll leave it in that state for now. Our food supply actually seems to be okay somehow. Five units are produced per cycle. Eight units are consumed per meal. So they only eat every X number of cycles? So am I confused about the level of production? Seems like our food supply is actually going up, so... Thinking after this cycle, I'm going to turn off one of these farms to free up some more workers. Who's happy? Okay, let's switch that off. I wish I switched off the one on the end instead, but whatever. So we're eight people over our quota. We're kind of just stalling, waiting to see what happens with the um, with the ships. ship is at Mercury. So nothing happened there. So Saturn it is. So we should start working on the mobile engine or whatever it's called. The, the hyperdrive. The Vol engine, excuse me. How many workers does this take? This takes nine. So our food supply is still steadily rising. I'm going to shut off another one of these things. Probe launcher has been unlocked. Nice. Probes. You have no eyes and what you must see. Tycoon is little visual equipment to capture the vastness of space. However, points of interest and resource deposits can be found by launching probes. When scanning the map, higher signal readings indicate you're likely to find something. Probes can be launched from the planetary system map. To do so, click on the probes button at the bottom of the line. Click launch probe and then left click on the desired map location. Um, do I have to build something to do this? I guess not. When scanning regions of the planetary system map for a probe launch, higher readings indicate a greater chance of finding something interesting. In the case of asteroids, dark green bars indicate some asteroids in an asteroid field are in range, while light green indicates that all nearby asteroids are in range. Time is by the way. Oh, I really gotta wrap up. Okay, we're gonna try launching a probe, and then we're gonna wrap up there, I think. Um, so how do I... 
How do I launch the probe? Launcher has been unlocked. We got that. Oh, let's um turn this off. For, well, we only got 20 science, but we're not going to get much science from this thing anyway. So that's that's frees up a lot of people. We're back at optimal working conditions. We could start farming again, uh, or better yet, we could start building our Vol engine. I think that's a good idea. But I want to explore all the planets in our system, or at least all the likely resource planets before we do that. Okay, so we can start. There's a Vol engine, it's a hundred ally, we can do that. Uh, full integrity is fine. I think we may want to spare space for another storage here. Another uh, metal storage. Let's save it if we can. We have that as soon as we're able to. And then I must figure out how to launch a probe. Probes, here we go. Probably by pressing the probes button. Not really understanding how to read this view. Space interactions, probes. Probes can be launched from the planetary system map. To do so, click on the probes button at the bottom of the UI, click the launch probe, and then left click on the desired map location. And scanning regions of the planetary system for a probe launch. Zero probes available. What do I have to do to make a probe available? We have to build one from the docks here. We do. Probe launcher. Can this fit here, or is it colliding with the... I think it can, yeah. Okay, nice. Just perfect. Okay. This is in the works. Uh, we can grab this as well. Fast forward until we can launch a probe here. for more metal to be brought in. Okay. A science That's fine. ship has arrived at its destination. I think the food is still going up. Science ship has arrived. Let's go check that out. A uh, signature trace from an EKP system has been detected near Saturn. EKP technology is the exclusive property of Dolos, but records indicate that the company has not deployed any missions to this sector. Curious. Signature will soon enter the atmosphere of Saturn. Send a team to investigate or attempt to locate debris in orbit. Something's going to enter the atmosphere of Saturn. We're going to try this. This is going to be risky, I think. We might get a, our first uh, EVA team injury. The power on the infirmary, probably, when they get back. So I think as soon as we're done with building the, the Vol engine, we're going to power this off. Okay. 
and I'm just waiting for this to get done. Should see this. Yep, extra people, right? Let's turn this on for now. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get a little bit of a surplus of food, that's nice. These don't seem to cost anything except for power and people. We're gonna have an issue where we're gonna need to start collecting ice, but apparently not. Okay, let's construct a probe. Oh, these cost plastic. Ooh, okay. So, have to be careful about where we launch our probes. We have to look for some place that gives us polymer first. For, um, what's used to make carbon, rather. We're working extra hours now because of this thing. I think we're gonna sort of this off for a while. Try to get our food up to like 50, let's say. Ship team has completed a task. Uh, prototype rocket sent by the UN seems to use a variation of EKP. They have stripped it down and recovered schematics. Ten science. Nice. Okay, so we didn't get to collect debris, but that's okay. Just about finished our first probe here. We're looking for carbon. Okay, so everywhere has a high science. There's no carbon anywhere. See all these orbit rings, I'm thinking there's like other asteroids or stuff like that. Can't uh, see them seemingly. Let's launch for whatever has the most science potential, I think. So we have the asteroid belt. Only certain parts of the asteroid belt, apparently. So there's a little chance of finding carbon here. We're gonna find something there.
I kind of want to try that. Let's save it. We save it. All right, you know what? I think we're going to wrap up there. Let's decide what we're going to do there next time. I want to say thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to follow. If you're watching on Twitch or subscribe, it's free if you're watching on YouTube. Have a good afternoon, and I will see you next time. Take care, folks.